y'all back in another video. Sorry for letting this trash, but I have to get this done because I said I'm just gonna do it for you guys and never did it. So, um, from the title, you already know, and you guys already um, voted for this, so um, let's get started. So, basically, if you don't know, um, I'm 19. Um, I had my baby when I was 18. Um, it turned 19 two weeks after. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Basically, this is just about how it's like being a young mom. Teen mom, I guess. Um, so, let's see. Um, I did have my son young, but not too young. In my opinion, everyone has their own opinions. Um... So I do want to say it is very difficult, especially when you don't have your whole life together, because I am still young. So obviously I didn't have all my priorities straight, so that kind of delayed on most of my things that I want to do in the future. Um, so yeah, it definitely delayed a lot. However, it's not all, it's just bad. Um, I feel like it is more hard being a young parent than being older because you do get a lot of um, negative comments, um, negative opinions in life. Um, so it does kind of affect you if you let it get to you. Um, I don't let it get to me honestly because I look at my son as a blessing and I don't really care for what people have to say because at the end of the day it's my life um and I love my son so who really cares um however um it does take a part in a lot of relationships I want to say either it's family relationship friend relationships or a relationship with your partner um which it does definitely take a big part in that because now you have a baby people feel some type of way about it or if anything um me personally it didn't affect um my family wise relationship um friendships i don't really i don't really know um it's more of like i have well i don't really have friends i don't really hang out with anybody but before i had a certain i had a decent amount of friends however they don't have kids so it's more of like i'm getting older i have a kid there's some things that i can't do anymore and i rather surround myself with um more positive influenced people and more and people that have kids you know um so I, I wouldn't say it did affect my friendships, but it didn't. It affected my friendships because it's like, okay, I can't hang out with these people any as much as I want to because they don't have kids. They could just up go me. It's more of like I have to find somebody to watch my son, and I don't really trust a lot of people to watch my son, so it's like no. But however, it did do a good part because you really realize who your true friends are. Um, if they're your true friends, they're gonna respect that you can't get out, go out, and they're gonna they'll respect like okay, we'll pick a new t another time, um, and try to work it out with you. Um, if they're not real friends, they're just gonna blow it blow it off or whatever, we're not. So those are the positives and negatives. Um, so I suggest you know you get friends that have kids. Um, it does help because it's like you have a lot more to you have a lot more of a connection to bond with and also you have kids So it's like you take you can take ugh, You could take your kids places together and a lot of fun stuff do a lot of mommy things um, Yeah So in my experience that was my experience um, I'm starting to make more of mom friends and I would love to be able to bring our children together and do like uh, mom and kid things you know um, it feels good when you are a mom and you um, 
are able to take your kid out and do these fun things and especially when you have friends that have kids so you guys could do it together it's just a good feeling um so that's my experience really um with friendships um relationship wise um it does i don't it does affect it i don't want to say affect it like it does bring problems into the relationship um me and my relationship um obviously we don't have a perfect relationship but we don't have a bad relationship um i want to say definitely remember this and always keep this in your head if you're in a relationship and you guys are going through things don't feel like having a kid is going to fix your problems because it's not so i feel like people think that oh if i have well if i have his baby or if we have a kid together it's gonna fix a relationship it's not gonna fix a relationship if it might make your relationship a lot worse because it's more things that you have to deal with more getting involved so that's definitely one to keep in your head um like i said we don't have the perfect relationship but we don't have the worst relationship so um definitely having a baby together um we don't always agree on certain things about the baby um if you do something this way i do this one this way that's yeah that's kind of and it's like a little little things that you can argue about and it just blows up out of proportion unless you're like a really good communicator in a relationship then it does actually really help um and it's more of okay you have these two people that didn't have a kid before if it's your first and it's like it's always you two you know it was 24 7 me and him it was 24 7 we did everything together we went out together we didn't like we could just be like okay let's go see movies tomorrow the movie comes out let's go let's go out eat whatever now it's like it's not like that we have a son so it's like we can't just say okay let's go to the movies because he's only three months old you're not gonna bring a three month old to the movie theaters so it's kind of stuff like that um you kind of get lost in you having a baby you kind of get lost in and like having time for each other i want to say um you guys are so focused on having a baby you lose each other i guess um the first two weeks of no i want to say the first four weeks of us having our baby boy we were so and on the baby of course everything was baby 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 like it should um it was more and then it was like we were we were with each other 24 7 however we weren't like our minds weren't i guess our minds weren't but our bodies were so we would see we would be with each other 24 7 however we didn't have the time to just be like, you know, how are you, babe? How are you feeling? Are you okay? Um, so it was more like that. Our minds our minds were like elsewhere, but our bodies were together. We didn't really have time to ourselves um, to acknowledge each other, I want to say. Um, yeah. So that is another thing is acknowledging each other make sure you ha have time for each other now that my son is getting older he is three months so it's more of like now we could do things and now me and him could have more time for ourselves um so even if it's just an hour it's definitely worth it don't ever feel like you're a bad parent if you want a break or if you need a break um don't ever feel like okay i just need three hours to myself just to relax or three hours with your partner um 
that was definitely a thing in our relationship but we weren't mad at each other for it or we weren't mad at our son for it it was just something that just built up inside of us that we were just like one day i just was like we don't like we don't spend time with each other like we don't ask each other how is each other's day you don't like you don't acknowledge me and it does get hard and it was just i don't know it was just building up and building up and i was just thinking about it and then one day i said something and we talked about it and it's just it's hard when you have a baby but we did talk about it and we did feel like okay we need at least we need to talk to each other it's a start to ask each other how's our day going and stuff like that so that helps um you know, like i said don't feel like you're a bad parent if you ever want time to yourself or time with your partner um as he got older um my mom she works all the time she's never really home um she comes home around like 8 39 o'clock so she would take him for like 30 minutes to an hour just to like i don't know she just likes to play with him so that 30 minutes to an hour um me and my boyfriend we just like relax you know even when we do have a baby um if he's like sitting in the crib or he's in the swing or he falls asleep because he's getting older now it's like he's, he's sleeping he's taking naps he's just laying there playing with his toys so it is a lot easier than when it was when we first had him so we do have more time for each other or just me and him um but we also do spend a lot of time together as a family um we pretty much every second of the day it's all three of us that we're just spending time together um laying down just relaxing um but like i said it is good to have your own partners you and your partner have time alone so let's that um yeah because it's family wise it didn't really affect family wise so i would have nothing to go on that um yeah i basically did social with that's like family i mean that's like friendship kind of um yeah and i think this that was really it but there was nothing i had to say but i totally forgot um let's see what else do i have to oh my gosh talk about um i feel like i'm sitting down too low <laughs> this chair and i feel like i'm sitting up too high okay um another thing of my personal life as a teen mom is feeling like I'm not doing enough. You could be doing like so much in the world for your son. And you still in your head think, I'm not doing enough. So that does put a toll on me mentally because I get into my moments where I feel like I'm not doing enough for him or I'm not living my life the way I want to live it and give my son the life that he deserves, you know? Um, and I feel like that's most parents. I could be wrong, I don't know, but I feel like most parents feel like that. Um, and that's what pushes them to work obviously harder for the kid. So I feel like if you are a young mom or if you're becoming a young mom, if you're like pregnant or whatever, or you decide to get pregnant at a young age um don't ever feel like you're kind of alone in certain situations because most of these things are common um feeling like you're not doing enough for your kid is very common feeling down about um the way your life isn't is common or not I don't know. I don't know the right words to explain it. But it's like... 
as a mom, you automatically are working hard. You have a kid from, I'm a hoping all moms, you have a kid, you're doing your 100%, your 1000% to put in to provide for your kid or, or even going to school or whatever to give your kid the best life that they can have. Um, I'm hoping as every mom is doing that for their kid. But yeah, um, I think that's it. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something though. So I think that's it for now. Um, if you like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, um, share my channel, of course. Um, follow me on Instagram. It's always in the description. Um, like I always say in every single video. Um, DM me or even or comment below um videos that you would like to see i feel like it's more on instagram that i kind of get more like the suggestions and stuff so you could just do that um answer my dms all the time so you could just dm me and yeah and i think that's it for today's video and i'll see you guys next time